We've got ourselves a convoy! Related arrest. Yes, so Fredericks County Sheriff Chuck Jenkins. You might remember him from some of these iconic Let's Go Brandon dress photographs. You might remember him from some of those. He was in a couple. But you also might remember him from the convoy. They mentioned him a few times. He was the constitutional sheriff who escorted them through his area. And of course, he says he would do that for any county. He's obviously not politically motivated at all. But we have some updates for this man. You see, he's been indicted by the Department of Justice due to a plan to illegally purchase machine guns along with a firearms dealer. The allegations include falsifying documents using his Sheriff's County office letterhead requesting machine guns for evaluations and demonstrations. Now, the DOJ says there were no demonstrations planned and he knew it. The real purpose of the firearms were so the firearms dealer could rent them to customers and the DOJ says that dealer had seven illegal machine guns. Now, what did the sheriff get in return for supplying these machine guns? Political support. Now, what that comes in, what that means could be a lot of things. It could be endorsements. It could be money for campaigns. I'm not entirely sure. He would be the one to ask, and I'm sure it'll come out in the case. Now, of course, that this is public, the sheriff wants you to know he's not resigning. He'll stay on the job, and he's even going to keep leading the department. And we learn he's been in contact with the DOJ for over a year about this case. I mean, hey, I'm, it's kind of expected whenever I hear constitutional sheriff anymore that this is how it ends. But it is interesting. He's been in contact with the DOJ and they've been involving, you know, investigating this for over a year. So was he being investigated for this when he gave the escort to the People's Convoy? That is really funny to me. 